Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back again with another Space Engineers ship review video, but we are reviewing something just a little different, and it's over here to the right of the screen. Um, it's a small build, not going to lie, but it is really nifty. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, this thing here... <laughs> I got to look at around the workshop, you know, I'm, I'm always looking for new ideas and things to build. And this is probably the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen, but also the absolute neatest thing I've ever seen. To give you an idea of what this thing is, this is the Noma flying platform. There is nothing here about this. It uses the DLC, Sparks of the Future DLC, Weapon Warfare two DLC and the decorative blocks two DLC. The author is Gino. I think that's how you say it. It's a small type ship and it's only 83 blocks. I am going to give this a like because it is a really weird ship. And I mean weird in a good way. You know, you always see that weird. It's, it's like Millennium Falcon weird. Okay, that's the only thing I can say. It is that odd little thing that you look at and you're like, oh, dude, this is like something out of an 80s cyberpunk anime. Like, this, this is something you'd expect to see a bad guy flying, a bunch of bad guys flying in on in desert punk or like a bunch of police officers operating in the background. Um, it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five atmospheric thrusters. It's got a, on the bottom here, it's got a series of neon tubes that are colored black to look like landing gear, so it looks like a set of skis, which is a pretty interesting way of doing things. We've got one light, a gyro, uh, a access. We've got several batteries on this thing that operate. We've got a very nifty-looking uh, targeting system here. You can add a targeting sensor on there if you want. Looking down, we just it's just mostly batteries, a seat, and a gyro with a gun mounted to it. Now, if you find this, I'm going to put this in the description because it it is something that y'all will want to probably pick up and look at. But it that the advantage of this thing, I don't know how much of an advantage it is. It is a fairly cheap looking ship. I mean, this is a cheap little thing you could build and just start stacking inside of your base or around your base, and you could add a couple of God, I don't know. You could add a a reactor to this thing so that it will operate when it comes in and you you actually spawn this thing it has a pull this in here it has a connector and a projector and everything on it already so I suppose you just attach this thing to whatever uh, you're gonna produce and then you just cut the end of it off and it's designed here to where they can just be mass produced. I guess you can just print these off because, it, and I'm going to tell you, this thing is just kind of nifty. But enough of me talking about this and yammering it. Let's see how this thing flies. Now, it does have a landing gear to lock it down. But as you can see, it is not the fastest thing in the world. It takes a bit to lift it off the ground, but it's got a little speed. And that one small minigun on the top there is enough to shoot at something. This isn't something you would you would probably attack the bases or vehicles with. This is something you'd probably fly in real quick and attack other players with. So I can I can see this thing, you know, just putting the laser sight on there and just firing at some poor sap. <laughs> just trying to escape your gun. <laughs> just shooting at him the whole time as he's trying to run. This this would be good for cinematic play, though. A couple of these things running around a base shooting at the main character. Yeah, this is, this is something you would want for something like that. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty interesting to fly. Now, is it good against other ships? I don't know. Let's... Go ahead, hit this thing over here to the base, and see if we can't stir up a bad guy or something. Can't get lock on him right now. Oh, there we go. Now we can lock on him. And we've got a pretty decent lock going in. I'm going to try and get some height advantage on him. 
before he can get a shot off on us. Can I hit him? That's the kicker. Well, I can hit him a few times. Can we take him down, though? That's the kicker. Can we take him down with this thing? We've got him. Oh, we've done damage. Let me aim for his uh, engines here. Oh, he's going up. He's going up. Oh, no. We can't allow him to get the advantage on us. Oh, this is a fun little pod to fight with. Oh, it'll take some time to kill him. Come on, die already. I think we might have got him. I think he's going down. We may have damaged one of his engines. Good lord, he just doesn't die. <laughs> one Gatlin gun is just not enough. <laughs> we need more. <laughs> like, I can see I'm damaging part of his uh, engine systems here. I've got him on the run. I mean, he's he's going down eventually. Yeah, if you had a group of these, they would probably work a little bit better. I think, I, I think I've taken out his engine right there. I think we're going down. I think we got him. Let me zoom in on him here. This, this is this is where I make the mistake. We're gonna try and just hit him at least. Somehow hit him. Take out his other engine, maybe. Oh, that one engine's completely down. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's going down. We got him. So it can it can take down drones. It can take down small drones. Uh, the in-game drones. It can take them down. Oh no, 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 no. And yeah, we we landed. How much damage did we do? Did we get hurt? No, we didn't. Oh, that's impressive. That's awesome. Oh, it's trying to get up. It's trying to get up and get us. So this is just... It's its a neat little murder pod you can send in here and just start ripping things apart. Let's make, let's make sure he doesn't bring that uh, thruster back online. Look here, pal. You just got to shut down and die already, okay? There we go. There we go. Look, you're not, you're not getting up. I've taken you out. You have no weapons. Oh, he's trying to escape. Let's put him out of his misery here. There we go. But yeah, not bad for a psycho murder pod looking thing that's come out of cyberpunk or desert punk, one of the two. I mean, we can take out a... Uh, I forgot what this thing is called. We can take down a uh, one of these drones that the game can throw at you. Not a, not a bad little ship, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this thing ain't, ain't really bad. You kind of have to dip it down to get some speed out of it. And then you have to worry about everything else. I, I, I don't know. I'd probably put a few more thrusters on this, but it is a nifty little ship I'm not gonna lie it is very nifty to have something like this and there we are we we've taken care of a problem we can go get a ship to go pick that adversary up bring it back to the base and just take care of business with it but like I said it's just a neat little pod here a, a neat little uh, uh, you're you're gonna die kind of vehicle now I had to add on the gun and there may be other things you have to add on as well but other than that, I figure you can probably upgrade this thing a little bit. Maybe give it another thruster on the other side if it can take it. And probably add a extra shell section here if that will give it the ability to 
load up a rocket launcher or something on the side. But other than that, oh whoa, what was what was that? How did I? Oh, there's a there's a dent there. Okay, but other than that, this thing is. I mean, for a tiny little thing, you can print off. If you've got a lot of guys, and you can print this thing off. You can just go ham with it. Uh, very cool. Very interesting. And uh, I just have to say, I wish I knew more about it. I wish I knew. I wish there was a description on this thing, but there's not, unfortunately. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this neat little uh, ship, I guess, or hover bike thing. I don't know what you call it. I mean, it, it is it is the most punk thing I have ever seen from either desert punk or cyberpunk. Like I said, um, it, it's that thing you'd see hovering through the desert, coming to to just put the hurt on something, something some bad guy or a bunch of nomads would be riding around in the desert, flying these things, looking for something to whoop. You know, the you've caused enough problems. The real bad guys are showing up. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, a comment. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.